Good morning, dear students, and welcome back to our today's class. We are studying about friction, chapter number 12, and we have almost finished our this chapter on friction. In this chapter, we learned about the definition of friction, its uses and its disadvantages, as well as the different ways by which we can reduce friction. Now, in our today's class, we are going to do a quick revision of all this chapter. Okay, so friction. What is friction? Friction is a force between two surfaces when they are sliding or rolling over each other. Friction acts opposite to the direction of motion. This means friction reduces motion. Friction slows down the motion of an object and finally it can bring any moving object to rest. Friction is useful in many ways in our everyday life. For example, it is because of friction we can walk, we can light a matchstick or hold things in our hands. It is because of friction we can run around, we can play our games, we can climb up hills, we can climb mountains also, okay? So it is because of friction we can we are able to do so many things in our everyday life. Friction also helps us to keep us warm. For example, when we rub our palms, our palms become heated or warm. And hence, friction also keeps our body warm. Now, although there are so many advantages of friction, there are some disadvantages of friction also. And that includes friction also has harmful effects like friction makes it difficult for heavy objects to move. Heavier the object, larger the surface, more will be the friction. Therefore, it will be difficult for us to move heavier objects, especially on rough surfaces or rougher ground. Okay, The heat produced by friction may damage machines also and therefore causes loss of money. The sole of our shoes and the surface of tire wear out because of friction. You must have seen such things in, a, in your day-to-day -day life also. Now therefore, since friction causes some harmful effects, these, this friction need to be reduced in order to reduce the harmful effects in our everyday life and how it can be done it can be done by many ways but one of the most important and the easiest way is we can use lubricants such as oil grease etc to reduce the friction between two surfaces another way by which we can reduce friction is by using wheels when we use wheels, that wheel has circ circular surface, therefore it reduces the surface of contact and hence less friction will be there, thereby makes easy to move things around when wheels are attached. So this is what we have learned about friction in our this class this chapter chapter number 12 another way by which we can reduce friction is by making objects or bodies streamlined giving objects a particular shape so that the friction is reduced for example birds faces even our aeroplanes cars their bodies are streamlined so that friction is reduced and the object can move easily. So based on today's revision and whatever we have learned in this chapter, 
there will be an assignment for you okay I want you to open page number 113 page number 113 of your textbook and I want you to solve these questions question number one fill in the blank question number two write true or false so these two will be your today's assignment fill in the blanks and question number two write true or false is that clear boys so until we meet next time stay safe and do all things well